Hey there, welcome back to The Magic in the Music, I'm Jen. Today I'm going to be telling you all about Disney Vacation Club and I'm going to tell you what it is and what it is not. So stick around for Disney Vacation Club Explained. So you might be wondering, who am I? I am a Disney Vacation Club member. My husband and I have been members for several years. We own both direct purchase contracts from Disney and resale contracts that we bought secondhand and we own at three different home resorts. We have had numerous Disney Vacation Club stays throughout the years and we have stayed at all of the locations that are at theme parks, Disney World and Disneyland. We are also annual pass holders at Disney World and I've been traveling there on a regular basis since 1981. We've also visited Disneyland several times and Disneyland Paris as well. And my husband even had the opportunity to visit Shanghai Disneyland. I'm a teacher, so you can be sure that I do my homework. I do this for fun on the side. This is just kind of a fun hobby for me. And one of the best things about blogging about Disney Vacation Club is meeting all of you. One of the best reasons to come get info about DVC from me and our channel, The Magic and the Music, is because I don't work for anyone else. I get to be objective and be completely honest and say what I really think. I don't work for Disney. I don't work for any Disney Vacation Club resale company. I get to just be completely honest and it's great. But if you do find this information on our channel to be helpful, it really does help us out a lot. If you can make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when all our videos come out, all that good stuff, you know what to do and make sure you leave a comment in the comments below because that's what gets our video out to more people. I respond to all the comments as long as you're polite. I will respond to you. If you don't know what to say, then just say, hey, ask me anything. Why not? Okay, we're going to start things off by telling you what Disney Vacation Club is. And the first and biggest thing is, well, it is a timeshare. Yes, it is a timeshare. You know, some people, when they hear the word timeshare, they just go running for the hills. And we were like that for a really long time till we realized that Disney Vacation Club was actually a great fit for our family. It is honestly the only timeshare we see ourselves ever owning. And a lot of people are like that with Disney Vacation Club. On the other hand, there's some people who love their timeshares and Disney Vacation Club is one of the ones that they own. It is a timeshare, but it is not necessarily a typical timeshare and it's backed by the Disney brand. So that does make things pretty different from a typical timeshare. Disney Vacation Club is a points-based system for booking Disney operated resorts located in Disney World, Disneyland, Hawaii, Hilton Head Island in South Carolina, and Vero Beach in Florida. But the vast majority of the properties are located at Disney World. So you purchase a contract or several like we have with a set number of points that refresh each year until the contract expires. New resorts usually begin with 50 years of use, but expiration dates are set. So if you buy a contract today, you may have 20 or 30 or 40 or whatever years left on the contract, depending upon the resort that you choose. Pricing for each resort will depend upon the popularity of the resort and the remaining years or points on the contract. Contracts can be purchased directly from Disney, which obviously you will pay top dollar for that, or you can buy them on the resale market as well, which takes longer and comes with some disadvantages, but there are also considerable savings as well. Lodging options for DVC can range from studio villas which are basically like regular hotel rooms, but with kitchenettes. They typically have a queen bed and then a fold out queen or double bed. And on more recent renovations, they have been adding a fold down Murphy bed that is a queen size Murphy bed rather than a pull out sofa bed. There are a couple of room types that actually have two queen beds, but for the most part, the studios are gonna follow that same model of having the one queen bed and then the sofa combo bed. There are also one bedroom villas, which are like one bedroom suites. They have a separate bedroom and a living room with a full kitchen. There is a door. These are great types of accommodations if you're traveling with children or if you have multiple groups together that want to separate and have a door between them. There are also two bedroom villas, which are like the one bedroom villas, but they have an additional bedroom on the other side. And there are three bedroom grand villas, which is a lot like the two bedroom, but it has yet another bedroom. Some of these grand villas are really quite, quite spectacular. Some of them are two stories high and they have 
really amazing views and uh, they really can become quite grand in the three bedroom category. There are additional special accommodation types depending upon the resort that you're at, but these are the basic types of DVC villas that you will find in each DVC resort. DVC accommodations can be booked up to 11 months ahead of your check-in date at your home resort and up to seven months from the check-in date at your non-home resort. So yes, most of the contracts are actually able to book at different resorts, so you have a lot of flexibility. Most members book a stay at their home resort, and then if you wish to transfer to another resort at seven months, typically you would modify your reservation at that time if you're hoping to change to a different resort. Of course, this is subject to availability. Some resorts are easy to get into and some are really in demand. DVC is something that can be bought and resold. And this is one of the major perks of owning a DVC contract. It has a long 30 plus year history of maintaining its value on the resale market. And that is a huge thing because it, though it is an expense, people have flexibility in terms of getting out of their contracts if they need to. DVC also doesn't last forever. There are some timeshares that actually do last forever and that sounds kind of awful to me because you are handing down that burden, that expense to generation after generation. DVC contracts do have expiration dates and it is dependent upon which resort you own at. DVC is a way to save money if you enjoy staying at deluxe resort accommodations at the US Disney theme parks or any of the DVC resort locations. You can save money, especially if you typically spend the money on those deluxe resorts already. DVC does give you the opportunity to save a considerable amount of money on those stays. DVC is something that can be rented out if you are not using it. Worried that you might not use your points every year or worried if something comes up in your life that prevents you from using the points for a time, you have the flexibility of renting out reservations. And you can either do this privately or there are companies that can facilitate these rentals as well. So that was a major selling point for us is that we had the flexibility of being able to rent out our points if they weren't going to be used for a while. Okay, now we're gonna flip things around and talk about what DVC is not. Disney Vacation Club is not an investment. Disney Vacation Club, while it is a deeded real estate interest, it is not like traditional real estate. Yes, the sale has to be done using an agent and it has to record with a deed with the county and all these other things that are like normal real estate. It is a timeshare and it does expire and it does go away. You are not going to make money on your DVC contract and you should not purchase it with the expectation that it is a money maker. And it's really not an investment. DVC is an expense. DVC will have continuing dues or maintenance fees that you'll have to pay every year that you own the contract. Those dues or maintenance fees will increase year after year. Each year you should plan on seeing a small increase in your maintenance fees anywhere from 1 to 5%. Another thing that DVC is not is permanent. It's not permanent. It has an expiration date. Some might view this as a positive, some might view this as a negative, but it is most definitely not permanent. When you purchase that contract, it will end someday. Another thing that Disney Vacation Club is not is any kind of guaranteed incentive or perk. Disney Vacation Club loves to entice people to join with all kinds of wonderful offers like moonlight magic events, member exclusive events, special parties, discounts on annual passes at Disney World, shopping and dining discounts, access to special member lounges. And while all these things are wonderful and only for direct members who at the current time have to purchase at least 150 points direct in order to be eligible for those things. While those are great, those can go away at any time. There is not any guarantee of permanent access to those things. And let me tell you, Disney Vacation Club makes it abundantly clear when you are purchasing that these incidental benefits can change at any time. Another thing that Disney Vacation Club is not, in my opinion, is well, a club. They call it Disney Vacation Club, but there's not really that much about it that's like a club, actually. It's a little bit odd to me that they call it a club because yes, there are members. They do call the people who own it members, but you know, it's not really like a club in the normal sense of things. They don't do a whole lot of events that kind of like 
bring members together and create community. In fact, a lot of the members, we are the ones that create community around our membership, not so much Disney Vacation Club doing it themselves. There are actually a lot of groups online that are member created, and that is a great way to meet other DVC members. And of course, comment in our comments down here so that I can meet you because maybe you're a DVC member or maybe you're a prospective member. We do have a Facebook page and you can come and follow that one as well if you want to connect with some more DVC members. Go look on social media and you're gonna find all kinds of things for Disney Vacation Club members that are unofficial. Oh, the next one. Disney Vacation Club is not cheap. It's not a bargain. Disney Vacation Club is expensive. And so you need to be in a position to spend a considerable amount of money when you are making the initial purchase for Disney Vacation Club. So that's something that you really have to keep in mind when you are considering purchasing. You will spend a considerable amount of money getting into that contract right off the bat. The good thing is once you own it, you have only maintenance fees to pay on a continuing basis. And so it does feel great when we book vacations and the hotel is essentially already paid for. That's great. I love it. It feels great. But that initial cost is pretty high. It can easily be tens of thousands of dollars to purchase that initial contract. In addition to that initial contract, you're looking at continuing maintenance fees throughout the years that can easily be a few thousand dollars each year that you're going to be paying. And finally, you need to make sure that you have the budget to be able to travel to the Disney Vacation Club resort locations. So you need to have, if you have to have airfare to travel there, if you need to buy park tickets to go to the theme parks, any of the things involved with travel, make sure that your budget can handle that. Okay, this final one comes with a warning. Disney Vacation Club, in my opinion, is something that should not be an impulse decision. You should think carefully about making the choice to become a Disney Vacation Club member and purchase your first contract. Even adding on, you should probably be very careful because add-onitis is real. Once you become a member, it's very tempting to buy more and more contracts and add them on. A lot of people are tempted to buy DVC and boy, do they make it easy for you to purchase it direct. When you're on vacation, when you're on a cruise, um, when you're in these situations where you're, you know, life is just wonderful and perfect and it feels just great and you're not thinking about the realities of real life. I strongly recommend that you head home, think about it, run the numbers, make sure that it is a good fit for you and your family or your travel party. Make sure that it works with your lifestyle. Make sure that it fits for you so that you are happy with your purchase. And guess what? We have the perfect place for you to learn all about it here on The Magic in the Music. We have all kinds of videos that are gonna help you with the decision to purchase Disney Vacation Club or to add on that next DVC contract as well. We think that this is one of the best places for you to do your research because I have no agenda other than to teach you and help you make the best decision for you. If you wanna learn more about Disney Vacation Club, check out this playlist right over here. And also check out this video. We think it's just what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining us today and make sure you leave a comment below and tell us your questions about Disney Vacation Club. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Bye.